Now, mm. Charles, you play the MC. Yes. What a fun guy he is. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I need to have words with him at some stage. <laughs> I think it's, you know, it's, it's interesting that the MC as well is, is sort of personifies um, uh, the life of Weimar Burden. And I think, you know, for people, I mean, one can speak for so long about Weimar Burden, but it's important to understand what came before Nazism and mm -hmm. the Third Reich in Germany and where all those horrible things happened. There was a an era where there were no rules, there was just abandonment and mm. people like Sally was attracted to that because they could live them, be themselves and live out their fantasies and so it was the same for people who were coming from all over the world, from Paris and from London and America even because it was cheap, the, the economy had crashed, money was worth nothing and everyone was desperate to make money so anything that was sort of exotic and um, out there and perverted even um, was was put on the table and say, we will do this as long as you give us money for it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the MC sort of personifies that kind of small gust board of saying to the people, what is it that you want? We've got it. I can give it to you. Come join in. You know, this is going to be great fun. Um, and at the same time, you've got to know there's a price to pay for every single thing that you're going to go. It's, it's like life. You know, if yeah. you're going to indulge too much in eating chocolate cake, you're going to get fat. So there, there's a huge part of that that is, 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 is very important in terms of playing the, the character. And I think also what's great for both Claire and myself is, you know, I haven't been on stage in 20 years and this is a big break for, for Claire as well, who's never done a part this big, is that we bring our own sort of like, as she was just mentioning sort of her shyness and stuff, we bring our own insecurities into the role and as you sort of develop it, your own character is sort of going into it, as opposed to people who've done it so many times. Oh yeah, no, I can do this. It's another one, another one, another. We came from a very different place to play, and audiences also don't necessarily know us on stage. Yeah, um, they've never yeah. experienced that. Like, who are these people? And I think that's great for this for this for production is that there are these people on stage, and people don't even know who they are. So there's no, you can't attach any value to them because you, you don't know who they are and mm -hmm. what they're going to bring you. And hopefully, um, we live up to the expectation in terms of making these characters come to yeah. life. It's interesting, you have the whole fun and fancy free part of the cabaret, but deep-seated in the play are, are real political issues. Yeah. Does, does that drag you in two separate ways as an actor on stage? I find it interesting like um, how the different characters have different levels of awareness mm. as to what's going on. Mm -hmm. I think mm. my character, for example, as I said, head in the sand. Oblivious. Absolutely. Is she oblivious mm -hmm. or is she sort of t turning a blind eye? Like yeah. th th that's the, yeah. and I think it's, it's so relevant. That's what happens in societies. And um, you get some people who go along with an idea and some people who turn a blind eye and some people who are absolutely oblivious. Yeah. So I find like th the political stuff is incredibly interesting for me because my character's not, not strongly political in the piece. And it's very interesting for me to watch the others like that are. And you know, and, yeah. it's, and it's exactly what's happening in the world today as well. I think that's where the relevance comes in, which mm -hmm. makes it very interesting. Is we, we're living in a time where we have so much distraction. We all have our apps and, mm -hmm. our, and our things that, that give us this world of escapism the whole time, which is brilliant because you never have to be bored. Yeah. You never have to question if you don't like this, you can just flick it and say, I don't like this, don't like that. Never show me that again, never show me that again. So you can sort of kind of make this little world for yourself that is so sanitized that the outside stuff, you should you, you never need to know about it. And what happens is, I, I do believe that we need to also be citizens of the world. We need to know what's happening in the world and we need to take responsibility for, in, in whatever degree, for things out there. Um, whether it's just partaking in a discussion or just being knowledgeable about certain things. And nowadays we just have a generation of people who are no longer interested and they're not partaking. And the, the danger is when things start going wrong, they won't even know why it's going wrong because they would never have been part of seeing how things happen. And what happens with Cabaret is, and especially with my character, is it shows the audience how easily it is to be enticed by a concept, an mm -hmm. idea, a philosophy, um, and have that backfire on you. Because what this philosophy is telling you is, come, it's okay. I I'll, I'll promise you, I'll keep you safe. It's going to be fun. And you go, okay, it's fine, fine, fine. But you don't realize what, what the price is that you're going to pay down the line for that. And it's, it's what happens in life all the time, and we need to keep reminding ourselves of that reality as well. Now, have I, either of you had a chance to speak to many audience members and find out what their reaction to the play has been? Yeah, I often walking out of the theatre, 
you sort of inevitably bump into people who've watched the show and I've had so many sort of um, mixed reactions in, in such a positive way. A lot of people don't really know what they're walking into um, and there's that shock factor, um, the, the sort of celebrated vulgarity and the decadence of Weimar Berlin like on stage is sometimes quite shocking um, and some people don't expect that, some people celebrate it and love it but then a lot of people don't expect the sort of dark almost twist that comes. Yeah. So a lot of people have spoken to me about how they love it and you know loved every second, loved the singing and the dancing and but at, in the same breath a lot of people have sort of been very surprised. Mm -hmm. I think it, in a good way, and I think yeah. I like that. We've had a I lot of yeah. Sorry. No. We've had a lot of tourists coming in as mm. well, and who know the piece. Yeah. Um, and they've they've obviously been astounded at the standard. They, I don't know. People expect what does they expect us to do in Africa? But <laughs> and, like shame poor people down there. But yeah, the people have just been really surprised at the fact that we managed to grasp the piece.